So in this first classroom segment, you're going to actually see the first mindfulness introduction we give to children. And it's where we teach them about the brain, we teach them about their smart part and um, their lizard brain, and we introduce them to Bob, who is our um, kind of mindfulness mascot, who is kind of the uh, personification of their lizard brain. And so we uh, introduce them to this, and we use the glitter jar uh, as as again another way for them to kind of understand what's going to happen as they learn to practice mindfulness. So hello everyone. Thank you so much for having us. And we're going to be visiting your class and teaching you about your brain. So if you lift up your hands everyone, pick up your hand. In your hand you have a model of your brain. Your wrist here represents the brain stem. And this is the part of your brain that keeps you breathing and your heart beating. Thank goodness for this part of the brain, right? Now, if you open up your hands and you put your thumb down in here, this represents the limbic part of the brain, sometimes called a reptilian part of the brain, okay? So this part of the brain is always scanning the environment going, is everything safe? Is anything dangerous out there? Is anything safe? Is everything dangerous out there? And this part of the brain is amazing if ever there is real danger out there, okay? Because this part of the brain can make you run fast, fight strong. You can also freeze if you're, you know, if you're scared, you think of a deer, you know? You ever hear deer in the headlights, that expression? And so it's very good when we're in dangerous situations, but when we're not, it's not always the most useful. And then we have this part. <clears throat> you put your fingers over your thumb, that this is called the prefrontal cortex and this is the real smart part of the brain this is where good decisions are your math your ability to read all of that is in this uh, part of the brain and it's the part that helps you sit still in class when you need to sit still in class and it's the part of you that knows language it's the part of you that understands what i'm saying right now and that you can follow along so we call this your smart part so this is your smart part and bing, this is your lizard part and whenever you get really mad, sad, scared, or super excited, your brain, your smart part, can go offline and it goes bing, and you get your lizard part. Okay, but are lizards good at reading? No. no. Do they make good decisions? No. Yeah. We brought our friend Bob. Now Bob, he's a type of lizard. Hi everyone. Yeah, he's technically a chameleon. And, um, but Bob, what kind of brain does Bob have, guys? Lizard brain. Does he have a smart part? No. Okay, Bob, let's see if you can do some math. Let's just check this out. So, okay. Bob, um, what is two plus two? Uh, two plus two is, uh, one thousand. Did he get it right? No. no it's four. No, uh. it's fish. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fish. yeah it's his... Fish. He doesn't have this part of the smart part of the brain, so all he can do is really worry about his safety. You ever looked at a lizard in your backyard? What yeah. do they do? They run. And they run because they're always scared because you're so big. You know, to them you're a big giant monster walking by, right? <laughs> so, um, so that's what they're worried about. They're always worried about safety. So, um, why don't you? Yeah, we'll show you a little bit more here about how the brain works. So let's imagine that this is our brain, okay? And when it's nice and calm we have our smart parts on, it's easier to think clearly and see clearly, right? Can you see right through the glass? But sometimes, if we flip our lids, right, in that reactive reptilian part of our brain takes over and we might get angry or sad or scared, look what happens to your brain. You see all the glitter inside there being shaken up? Everything is flowing around really quickly. It's hard to see clearly when your brain is in that state. It's also hard to think clearly. But look what's happening. If we just watch and take a breath, it just takes a little bit of time. And if we're patient and still, the glitter starts to settle. And we can do the same thing with our brains by just watching and waiting, maybe taking a breath, and our smart parts can get back in control, and we can think clearly and see more clearly. 